Right, so over here we are given a uh, wind, uh, uh, this is a windmill and this is actually a situation as of a miniature golf course that includes one hole that requires players to hit the ball through an opening in a large structure while the windmill rotates in front of the opening. So I'll explain the scenario. This X is a hole which we cannot see. It is behind the windmill uh, via which the, you know, the players are supposed to place the hole, pass the ball through. And the windmill is rotating in front of the uh, is of the hole, right? It is rotating in clockwise sense. Uh, here it is given that it completes one rotation in every twenty seconds. So one rotation in twenty seconds would mean that the value of t is twenty seconds uh, because one cycle is in twenty seconds. Point B is on the tip of one of the windmill blades. So B is on the tip, right? And the height above x is basically the height of the of the point B. Now point X which does not rotate, does not move, represents it, I've already told you this, as the blade rotates uh, with a constant speed, the height of B above X periodically increases and decreases. At T equal to 0, B is at the lowest point and that's important for us that at T equal to 0, B is at the lowest point and the lowest point is 2 units below the, uh, you know, X line. So they clearly mention that it is 2 feet below the X and the highest is 10 feet above the x. Okay. Now the sinusoidal function models the height of b above x and a positive value of h indicates that b is above x and negative value is b below x. So I hope you understand the question. Uh, there's a hole over here. This is the reference. Uh, the point b goes like this. Uh, the height of b with respect to this dotted line increases. Uh, decreases uh, just like this in a sinusoidal fashion and we are supposed to uh, look at these two cycles and graph the plot the coordinates of you know fg and all these points so <clears throat> once again i'm interested to know what my period is i think we already concluded it is 20 seconds then what is the maximum height of the point b it is already indicated very clearly it is 10 minimum is negative 2 and the midline is going to be 10 plus negative 2 divided by 2. 10 plus negative 2 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that is the midline. Now once again, uh, I, I'm personally comfortable uh, in writing y coordinates first. So I'm going to say that f is the maximum having the y coordinate of 10, something comma 10, something comma 10, j is the minimum, something comma negative 2, and the mid is something comma 4, and then something comma 4 over here. Okay. Uh, what is the period? Period is uh, 20, uh, but uh, we need to make sure that where it starts from, and we know that it starts from the lowest point because it is already indicated, we already highlighted it here, right? And at t equal to 0, it is at the lowest position. So if it is at the lowest position, it is tempting to say this as 0. You can say this 0, then these will go negative. AP pre-calculus, the college board allows this. They have mentioned this in the instructions, but I am Personally, uncomfortable putting negative times. I'm just going to put rather than t, uh, the coordinates of here, the time as zero, I will put same as the period because after one period, it will again be at the same position. So I'll put this as 20. For the remaining points, uh, I will divide 20 in four pieces, which is which goes perfectly. It is five. And then it means that with 20, I will go five units back to have 15, five units back to have 10. 5 units forward to have 25 and 5 units again forward to have 30 over here. So these are the coordinates. Uh, then they are asking us to find the value of A, B, C, D. So let's do the value of uh, actually D, uh, which is D and B. These are the easiest, right? So D is the midline that we know is just 4. B is 2 pi over period. Period is 20. So 2 pi over 20 is just pi over 10. So that's the value of b. Now, uh, this is a cosine function, right? It's important to see what function they need. It's cosine. And cosine starts from the maximum value. Uh, here we can see this is the maximum point, of course, and it is also going downward. So it mimics the parent cosine function. So it has, it has been displaced by 10 units, I think, to the right. So I will say c is negative 10, right? c is negative 10 over here. And uh, the value of A is definitely positive, and the amplitude, as we can see, the difference between 4 and 10 is 6 units. So, uh, our answer 
is going to be uh, the equation is going to look like 6 cosine of the value of b is pi over 10 let's erase this thing pi over 10 t minus 10 plus 4 right this is our equation now they are asking us to analyze between k and p so k is uh, right here and p is right here is the function positive or negative yes it is positive because look at the y values 4 and 10 these are positive right is the function increasing or decreasing definitely increasing it is you know it's uh, ascending right going up so it has to be positive and increasing so i'm going to say that the answer is option a and they are asking how is the roc changing so roc changing means that they want to comment on the concavity we can see that this is a frowning phrase uh, frowning phase would mean that it is concave down and concave down would mean that all the, we'll say that since it is concave down this means that the roc is decreasing over 